So I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, my name is Ariana and I am homeless. I will be at 32 this Monday, the 25th of July, and I won't be celebrating. <laughs> um, I don't have any family or friends. I do have a full-time job and I live in my car and I have lived in my car for the last seven months now. There's that. <laughs> um, it's lonely. It's definitely lonely. But I am also a very introverted person, so it's only lonely occasionally. It's I'm actually enjoying it because I have all this freedom and solitude and I just, I make my own rules and I'm not bound to a mortgage, so there's a lot of upsides to it, but I'm not going to lie, it, it gets difficult. I mean, this is my home. This is where I live, that's where I sleep. Um, yeah. I could go into my story of how I got here, but I think I'm going to save that for another video. The reason why I actually wanted to post a video was because I have been feeling pretty down lately this last month about my situation, just kind of in my own head, thinking a lot of negative thoughts, rethinking my life. And I got on YouTube and I started out searching for videos on depression because I was hoping that maybe something would just uplift my spirits a little bit. So I actually came across some videos about homeless people and homelessness awareness and one in particular called uh, Invisible People and that caught my attention because that is exactly how I feel. I feel invisible. <laughs> And then I started listening to these people's stories and really change your perspective. But I could relate with a lot of these people. I might not be living on the streets of LA, but I'm living in my car in Southern California and live, well, different cities around where I work. Um, I have to park in different places every few nights. No, well, it's not safe. <laughs> I wake up to gunshots and sirens and screaming, all sorts of crazy things at night, so I sleep pretty lightly. Um, this one incident where I was, I didn't have my car locked and it was in the middle of the night and I was in the front seat where I'm sitting and I was changing and I didn't have bottoms on and this guy opens my door, just wide open. Um, and he saw me and he saw that I was half naked and he just kind of stood back and I was scared to death. I didn't say anything. I was in total shock. Um, I didn't move. I, I didn't know what he was going to do. I was terrified. Um, luckily, I think he was just as much in shock as I was. I don't think he was expecting somebody to be sitting in here. I think he was going to jack my car or try to. Um, but in that moment that we were both shocked, I just... I reached over and grabbed my door and pulled it shut really fast and I put it in drive and I drove off as fast as I could. <laughs> Half naked still, <laughs> but I just wanted to get to a safe place. Um, that was only like the only crazy incident that I've had so far, but that was my dumbass fault. I didn't have my car door locked. But on the other hand, if I did, there could have been a chance that he just busted my window open. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise. I don't know. I'm just thankful that nothing happened. Um, but what's even crazier is that morning, so just like a few hours later, there was a car that looked very similar to mine and there were cops surrounding it and they were arresting somebody. And so I immediately thought like, oh my God, I wonder if that guy tried to like in this other car or try to, you know, thinking that it, that was still me and so he may have like did something. I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't see the person getting arrested. I, that's just my mind thinking because it was too close. It was like in the same lot and just a couple hours later and it was just a weird coincidence. So I don't know. Just very blessed and I thank God that he was with me that night. <laughs> But yeah, this is my home. I I really don't carry much. What you see is what I have underneath that black thing right there. 
is uh, clothes folded up. I have a laundry basket in my trunk and some shoes. Um, and I have my essentials. I keep all my like bathroom essentials, toilet paper, uh, I have a shower caddy and all that, towel, everything in my gym bag. Um, I have a cooler. I usually just put drinks and fruit, whatnot in there. And I do have this little cooker. It's like this little mini plugs into my car. And you can cook like frozen dinners, heat up, toast anything. It's pretty awesome. And I just found it. I wish I would have found it months ago. Um, but yeah, so I can at least have something other than Del Taco. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, yeah, I usually go for the bean burritos at Del Taco because they're cheap and they're good. Um, I, I try to save as much as I can here and there, but honestly, living in California is just so damn expensive. Between the inflation right now with the gas prices and just overall pricing, everything out here is high. Basically, my job pays for my bills, which my I do actually have a lot of bills uh, and food. So I have my car payment, I have my phone payment, I do have an iPad which I'm paying on and I would have gotten rid of that a long time ago but the only reason I'm keeping it is in case I happen to get a remote job. I don't know, there's no telling with me I could quit this job or get fired for some crazy reason. There is no telling. My life has been a series of crazy events. So. I've already had two jobs since I've been here in California, and I've been here just a little over a year. So, anyways, I keep that iPad just in case I need it for a potential future job, um, because I know a lot of places are still working remotely around here. So that's the only reason for that. Um, so that is a pretty high bill. My car payment's pretty high. The reason I say this is because I know people are going to be asking me, well, if you have a full-time job, then why are you living in your car? Well, well, it's so damn expensive to live here. Not just food and gas and stuff, but like living, oh my God. A studio starts at 2,000 and it's almost even unheard of to find something for 2,000. You're looking at like 23, 2,400. Oh, drop my cap. Um, and when I did have money saved up, I actually, tried really really hard for months straight to get a place but obviously no luck um, for many reasons a lot of them were scams so I got scammed out of hundreds of dollars just trying to apply uh, I actually viewed a few places and ended up loving them but never heard back or you know I just somebody got in front of me or my credit score wasn't as high as the other person's or something something happened or something always fell through or almost like it wasn't meant to be um, and so after months of trying I finally just got exhausted and I was like you know what if I do get a call back and I actually get one of these places I don't think that I would even actually be that happy because he's stuck with a lease I would rather have extra money to just live um so that's where I'm at right now um, just kind of living check to check and I just I don't know so you're probably wondering what I do as far as the bathroom and showers and stuff like that um, I actually do have like a little camper potty in here uh, for emergencies only. Uh, typically I will just run into a store or a gas station and use their bathroom um, or the gym. That's where I shower. I have a gym membership. Um, but yeah, like everyday things, um, you know, you do find a lot more challenging. Like I can't really cook a full meal. I keep snacks in here, um, but usually like I'll eat out. I used to 
take a lot of pride in how I looked. I would make sure my hair and makeup and outfit were all done every day for work. Um, not so much anymore. This is basically what I look like when I go in. This is actually nice compared to what I normally wear. Usually I'm pretty raggedy. You know, you can sit back and think like, wow, I had so much stuff. I had so many nice things, so many nice clothes and such a nice house before. How can you be okay with this? And at first, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was easy. It was a shock and I was scared. But then I found it to be thrilling and exciting and freeing. It's not bad. It's... Like I said, I'm still very blessed and I've been making it work. You know, I, I can make anything work. I can adjust. Um, granted, it would be a lot easier if this was like a van or something. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for what I have. I really am. I live in a beautiful state. I can go anywhere I please. I don't have to stay in one place. I love the beach. I like to be at the beach um, in nature if I can in any way. Animals, bugs, they all, plants, trees, they all become my friends. Um, I, I usually don't waste my time chit chatting about nonsense. I like to have real conversations, and that's hard to come by, you know, in a workplace. So. I just go to work, do what I have to do, and sometimes I'll go to the gym, sometimes I'll go to the beach, sometimes I'll just sit in my car and meditate or watch movies on my phone or listen to music, smoke out. I do smoke marijuana, by the way. <laughs> I don't do any other drugs and I don't drink alcohol, but I do like to smoke marijuana. The thing that's been bumming me out is, you know, my birthday's coming up and have anybody really to celebrate it with so it's just another day at work um, I don't make my birthday a big deal I don't really go around telling people that it's my birthday so hopefully nobody notices on Monday I know that they can like check and see when everybody's birthdays are but yeah I'm hoping that nobody notices it's mine because <laughs> I just want to be left alone it's kind of been my mentality lately. Like, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to really talk to anybody. I've just been kind of in this funk, and I really, to be honest, you know, I, for a moment I thought it had to do with me being homeless and my whole situation, but I don't know if it's that or not. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I will say that watching those videos and listening to other people's stories helped me. I, I feel much better now just because they're so beautiful and inspiring and it makes me rethink my own life and it makes me more thankful and I keep looking at the lips, sorry. They're chapped. There we go. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm all over the place. I'm just saying what is coming to mind. Uh, So I'm just going to show you guys what I eat and how I eat it. Just like one of my favorite snacks. I just ran into the store. I got these. Tostitos multigrain scoops. Those are going to think it's so weird. And then garbanzo beans. So good. I'm obsessed. I love them. Um, taco sauce. I usually use like extra packets of dill taco sauce that I get, um, but I don't have any, so I bought this. I hope it's good, I've never tried it. It's the Asada three chile and garlic sauce. And then, because I'm vegan, I have mozzarella vegan cheese. Never actually tried vegan cheese like by itself, so this should be interesting. And then, but yeah, so I like to put the um, the garbanzo beans inside the scoops and then put some sauce on top. 
and there's just it's just a good snack i love it it's high protein high fiber good for you i haven't had it with the cheese yet so we're gonna try it see how it tastes this is just oh and they didn't have the pop tops like target does so i had to buy a stupid can opener hold please has to be in one of these inconvenient packages too i hate these the ones where you cut yourself on them if you don't do it right. Ugh. This was literally one of the last can openers they had, so. See, okay. This is, you have to prepare to eat in your car. Um, shit. Let show me scoops. Be over here. Oh my god, pitbull, so pretty. Okay. So obviously I have to have a cup here to drain the juice from the garbanzo beans. And since you guys can't see, I have, yeah, see, this is what I'm working with. A little tray. Just hooks on my steering wheel. I wonder if there's a better way to... You know what? I'm just gonna have to put this back on the mount. Hold on. Okay. Looks like I'm like hosting a cooking show. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was hoping you could see this better. Oh well. So usually I get the pop top cans at Target, but I am all the way on the other side of town, so I didn't feel like driving all the way to Target. Love garbanzo beans. I'm gonna check these if you wanna be less fancy about it. But I hate the juice. I gotta deal with the juice. Stinks. Oh, they're so good. Okay. Did wet wipe my hands, right? Yep. Okay. Please let this be good. I usually say chickpeas. I don't know why I'm saying garbanzo beans all of a sudden. I guess maybe it makes me feel a little more high class. <clears throat> and a little. I do like the squirty. Okay, so. Have a little creation. So good. The sauce I wasn't expecting has actually
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pause for a second because I saw a cow and it said beef. And I was like freaking out for a second because I didn't even check to see if this was vegan. And so I thought they were saying that there's like beef flavoring in here or something. But no, I was just saying it goes perfect with beef and it is vegan. Thank goodness. All vegetable uh, ingredients. But what I was saying is that this has a smoky flavor. Like a, like a slight hint of smoky, garlicky, chili. Oh, it's good. It is really good. This is, it's Ortega street taco sauce. So good. Wow. And as for the cheese, it was, it's very creamy. Smell. Okay, the smell at first was like plastic, but now it's, now I can smell the coconut milk. It's just like a slight hint. That cheese is good. Try it. Great, yummy, and healthy snack. So good. Okay, it is obviously nighttime. I'm sorry that you can't see me. Um, really haven't done much since I ate. I got distracted and walked around this little area um, and then I was on my phone for a while and before I knew it it was dark <laughs> so it's been kind of just a chill Friday after work nothing exciting um, it is my first video I wasn't intending to make it like real organized or fancy uh, maybe I'll make more I don't know I plan to but uh, if you have any questions for me, please just comment down below. I would be more than happy to answer anything that you guys would like to know. Until then.